Classroom technology support has been involved since UCI first started developing smart classrooms. Now with the establishment of the Division of Teaching and Learning, there's more of an emphasis on the scholarship of teaching and learning and evidence-based approaches that say, how do we know the students are actually learning and how does the space impact that? We were looking at group seating with wireless projection and a lot of collaboration. That was the, the key to the space, was looking at collaboration. The room arrangements um, got everybody into groups very early on. They've never been able to have such close attention and particularly when you're doing things like looking at historical graphics and things like that. It's hard to see that on a television monitor that's really far away. Really from the first day to my surprise, I just thought, well, I'm not so sure about all of this technology, but I really like the room. But once I went in and the students were there, I really enjoyed the space. It's expansive. I mean, it put me and all of the students into a good kind of can-do attitude. It was really enjoyable for me to be able to work that closely with the students. If I could have dreamt up a classroom for me to teach in, I could not have dreamt up a classroom as wonderful as this one. It's not called a high-tech classroom, it's called an active learning classroom. Ultimately, all of the technology is there for how it helps the students learn. That's the point of the whole thing.